Social Security Disability. Do you have to turn over negative evidence? Hi, I'm Mark Whitehead, a board certified disability attorney and author of the Disability Help Book, The Social Security Disability Puzzle, How to Fit the Pieces Together and Win Your Claim. As a disability attorney, people are always asking me all kinds of questions about the Social Security Disability System. One of the most common involved whether or not they are required to provide evidence that would hurt their case at their Social Security Disability hearing. The short answer is no. Under current Social Security Administration rules, you're allowed to pick and choose the evidence that you choose to bring at a hearing. It doesn't stop the administrative law judge from bringing up evidence and asking you about it, but it does make it easier for you and your rep to build your case by creating a narrative that shows your disability has negatively impacted you. Unfortunately, the Social Security Administration has tried on a number of occasions to change this by instituting a rule that would require claimants to submit any and all evidence they have. People pushing for this kind of rule change argue that it prevents claimants from playing the system, but that's ridiculous. More than anything, it's more similar to the rule that we have in place against forcing you to testify against yourself in criminal justice proceedings. Why should claimants be required to show documentation that may hurt their claim? But it goes beyond the mere fact that doing this could cause claimants to be essentially fighting against themselves. Think about this situation. You go to see a doctor who's clearly not interested in checking you out. Maybe they're tired, or they have a golf game to get to. Who knows? But whatever the reason, they give you a perfunctory exam and say you're fine and send you on your way. You know they're wrong, so you get a second opinion, and that doctor immediately knows that you have a problem. The same thing happens with every doctor you see after that, but because the initial doctor hurried and found nothing wrong, the judge uses that evidence to refuse your claim. This is the kind of thing that could happen if Social Security disability claimants were required to show every single piece of information they have. Should you be worried? So far, the SSA hasn't been able to get the rule change that they've asked for. Most recently, they commissioned a report to see what other administrative tribunals require and whether or not it would improve their process if they started requiring all evidence to be submitted. If you have more Social Security Disability questions, check out my free ebook, The Social Security Disability Puzzle, How to Fit the Pieces Together and Win Your Claim. Visit www.disabilitydenials.com for a free downloadable copy or call 1-800-562-9830 to discuss your particular disability issue. I'm Mark Whitehead. Thanks for watching.